Scorpio, hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading. So if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get Spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, you must check out my husband because he is truly incredible. And I'm telling you, a business genius. So if you have business questions, Scorpio, go and see him. His information will be down below for you. Let's dive right in. We have the Eight of Swords and the Chariot as your overall energy. So it feels like right now a perspective is changing. I feel like right now there's new downloads coming in. There's new awareness is coming in. I feel like you're feeling some type of energy that's inspiring you to take on new things and to challenge yourself in new ways. And I feel like this is exactly the kind of energy that's required right now to get you to the next phase. And I feel like the next phase is approaching. I feel like a next new chapter is coming. Well, if you think things are good now, Scorpio, you just wait. Things are about to get a whole lot lot better, says this lover card. There's going to be a big choice, a big decision that you're going to make coming up here. And it's going to be one where you're going to be called to learn new things. And you're going to be interested in learning new things, which is going to lead you to a new place in your life with this two of wands. One that's going to be filled with a lot of reciprocated, beautiful, powerful energy of love, light, and abundance. So it's going to be quite a beautiful next journey. All the universe is asking for you right now is to stay focused on what it is that keeps you feeling in your high vibe state at this time. Don't allow the waiver to, to be, to be channeled off, right? Like if you're feeling really good, say about your career, but then all of a sudden your mind takes you to, oh, well, it'd be really nice if I could share this with somebody. Don't let it take you there because at the end of the day, your high vibes is what attracts in the perfect person for you. So everything's aligning synchronicity and we have to choose one step at a time. It's, it's high vibe after high vibe, right? We can't go from high vibe and then all of a sudden be like, oh, but if this happened, I would be way happier. We can't do that for ourselves. It's self-sabotage. Don't do it, Scorpio. Know that everything is aligning for you. And I can see that here with the two of cups, okay? So there are going to be connections that are going to be entering your life. Something is telling me that you are going to be introduced to your guides and angels, ancestors, and the multidimensional universe that we are connected to soon here. And it's this connection to this universal guidance and wisdom that we have that's going to lead you towards your calling. If you have not yet gone through this journey, Scorpio, of being connected to the universe that we receive our guidance from, now's the time, baby. Why wait to be attached to all the wisdom that we have access to? This is where I'm going to uh, suggest that perhaps you go and reach out and check out the Claire's, okay? The Claire's psychic gifts. You can type that in and they'll all pop up. Read each of the Claire's. Claire audience, Claire voyance, Claire sentience. When you read about them, feel which one resonates with you because each of the Claire's is gonna be connected to particular gifts or skill sets that will be your natural gift and skill set. You see how that goes. And so whatever your natural gift and skill set is, that will be your natural clear ability. And if you haven't practiced it, don't worry, you might be a little rusty. However, it's there, right? It's there to uncover. I'm sure as a child, you would have experienced it much greater. And then as we get into our adult years and we acquire all these beliefs and filters and programs, we tend to you know, push it away, right? So, but just know that's gonna be your natural skill set of of connecting um, to your um, universal um, wisdom, okay? So dive into that. We have the four cups coming out here. So universe is just reminding you to stay busy, stay busy in, in, in the yin and yang balanced, relax and, and action way, right? Don't, don't effort or force. I don't feel like you need to do something just because don't work yourself up anxiously, right? But just stay in a place where you feel grateful. Stay in a place where you feel, again, those high vibes, grateful, positive, joyous, humorous, have fun, Scorpio, for goodness sakes, have fun. You keep that heart chakra open and you have fun along this journey, then you will always have opportunities shown to you. Always. You stay grateful and your focus stays in the direction that it needs to be. The minute our focus gets taken off what we know is makes us happy, that's when we can quickly start digging ourselves a nice big fear pit hole. And we want to stay far away from that fear pit hole because we all know how that doesn't feel great. And when we got to climb ourselves back out of it, right? 
and it's the endless loop, we can avoid all of that by just keeping your vibes and keeping your mind state in a place of abundance. And even if that means you wake up in the morning and you don't feel like super energetic, you don't feel like, you know, you really feel like tackling or taking on the world, then don't, beautiful soul, don't. You don't have to. I know that's the program here. Go, go, go. If you're not doing something today, oh, you're, you're going to miss out on all these opportunities. No, it's actually the opposite. If you're not called to do something in that particular day, except for just relax, then take that relaxation because it's the universe guiding you to be more in the yin energy of receival mode. You see, and a lot of the times we're like, oh my gosh, I feel tired. What am I going to do? I got all this stuff to do. I got these, I got these Christmas presents to wrap. I got this to buy and this to do. Take some time out, just relax. Just have a little meditation, sip on a tea or a coffee, but just find some relaxation for yourself first. You will greatly be rewarded because of it. A little journaling time, it will be, everything will be okay. Nothing is going to, you know, be detrimental here if we don't just take some time for ourselves. It's very, very important because if we go, go, go without the focus in the, um, in the, trajectory of abundance, then what's going to happen is we're going to energetically become very depleted. When we're energetic depleted, we tend to give into our fears a little bit more, right? When we're, when we're feeling exhausted, when we're not fueling properly with the right foods, right? When we're in our own head, creating anxiety, creating worry, right? That anxiety, worry, our energy drops. And then again, the, our fears come up, they come up and then we have a hard time because we're back into the fear pit. So it's easier to stay in in the streak of abundance when we're having a good time, when we're enjoying the ride, when we take those tiny moments of relaxation, when we give ourselves the right fuel and loving self thoughts, right? Then we're always gonna be in a good place. Universe is just validating that right now is a time of transformation. You're in the form of leaving an old version of yourself and welcoming in a new version of yourself. So again, now is the time more than ever, really connect with your ancestral beings because they will help you along this journey. Because right now I feel like there are a lot of beautiful new downloads that are going to be coming forward for you. And the universe is validating that these are all going to be good ideas and you're going to want to act, entertain these and put action towards them because it's going to lead you to this incredible life, right? And But right now you're in the transformation process of it. So it's not a time where you want to necessarily be constantly in the yang go 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 action you really want to make sure you're balancing out that yin as well where you're having both relax and action relax and action take time for yourself and by quality time a lot of the times when we go to work and we come home we're so depleted and exhausted that what do we do we eat our meal and then we sit in front of the tv right it's natural it's normal that's fine what if instead of the entire evening you watch tv you scheduled out 30 minutes right 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just some time for yourself where you sat with yourself, you reflected on your day, you said, wrote it down a couple gratefuls, maybe just did a little meditation, but just a little bit of time where it's just you, yourself, and you, and of course, your guides and angels. That, even that alone will help rejuvenate you and inspire you for the next day. All right, Scorpio. So let's see what else we have here for you. Ah, porcupine spirit. There's so much new beginning here and so much new growth for you here, Scorpio. I can't even begin to describe it. So again, the best thing that you can do for yourself is make sure that you come from a state of understanding that versions of yourself are going to need to be eliminated. You're going to be turning into a new version of yourself. And the easier with this process is, is by the more gentle you are with yourself. Okay, because the more kind we are to ourselves, almost like when someone's learning something new, say it was like a five-year-old child learning something new when they you know when they don't say something that's correct but they're learning you know you're not going to scold them and be like what's wrong with you you know you're going to be like really great job awesome How, what if we looked at like this or hey try again what about this or what do you see now you know we would be encouraging we'd be kind we'd be gentle we'd be easy we wouldn't want to scare them or freak them out and that's the same thing we have to be with ourselves don't scare or freak yourself out just come from a calm relaxed place during this next phase during this next journey because it will allow your heart to remain open and it will allow the process to become much more fluid and much more easy and it's ease that we want to feel because it's our it's our natural way of being it's abundant and easy it's us human beings and our programs and our beliefs that cause this anxiety and this fear right and when we get depleted we fall into the energy of earth which is more fear so when we're just 
doing our thing, feeling good, feeling calm, feeling relaxed, just enjoying this process, then things feel really, really good to us. And we feel that sense of knowing that all of our desires are aligning and that we have nothing to worry about. It's that feeling of satisfaction, okay? Because the universe is validating with the whale spirit that it's time to just trust in the process of everything because everything is unfolding to its highest, highest good for your highest good and for the highest good of all that is around you. The universe will always make sure that you and yours will get everything that they deserve, truly. So just trust in this process and know that the universe has got you covered. You're doing your part by meeting the universe halfway and in return, the universe will meet, come 10 steps forward. If you're going five steps, the universe will come 10 steps, always every time. You never have, to, you can never, don't need to count on the universe. They're always there for you. They just ask for you to do your part and just enjoy the journey. Do and take action on what you're called to do. Don't feel like you need to do more than you need to do. In the meantime, relax, relax, relax to receive that inspiration and then take action on that inspiration. All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit absolutely loves you. I love you, Scorpio. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.